Um, I mean, there's been a number of attacks, as I was saying. Can you just tell us what has been going on in Israel over this past couple of weeks? Well, it was really, really a terrible night in, uh, in Tel Aviv. Uh, you know, the Tel Aviv is the city when, it's my city, actually. It's a city when I was born, my grandfather was born, and I talked to family and friends, and they were ordered to stay, to stay in, their, in their houses when this, you know, this terrorist started shooting at innocent people. He, you, you can see it uh, very um, you know, vividly in the video. Mm. He entered into a bar. In Dizengoff Street, this is the street for nightlife in Tel Aviv, where people are going mm. uh, to have their drinks, uh, where people are, um, families are having their uh, dinners, and he start start shooting at people, run away, mm-hmm. and 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 like you just said, uh, there were police ordered. My 85 year old grandmother was ordered to stay in in the house and not to go out, and and this is terrible. So it's the real definition of terrorism, really, because people are in terror. And I just want to focus, if I may, Ohad, on, on, on the two young men who were murdered last night. So Itam Magini, who had just proposed to his girlfriend, starting a new life with his girlfriend, and Tomer Morad, who had newly graduated as an engineer, about to start a, a new job. These are two young men, friends for a long, long time, and they were cut down in the prime of their life. This is sad, you know, this is sad. These are people that, you know, as you said, just beginning their life, just having fun and, and drinking. And you have a, a person that, that comes and, and starts shooting it. And you see, actually, you see it in, in Gaza with Hamas and the Islamic Jihad. You see people celebrating this. Yes. People handing out sweets in Jenin, the city where uh, this, this terrorist come from. People are, um, you know, Again, celebrating, and you see also this incitement on social media. So it's not only the people in in these areas that are uh, that are celebrating. Now with social media, you see uh, posts that are you know praising him, hailing him as a hero, mm. and this incite this incitement. And this is actually what we see uh, uh, recently. This incitement leads to just more attacks. This is the fourth attack in recent uh, in in the last two weeks, uh, and this is this is sad because this social media. Uh, posts are not only in the Middle East, yeah. they're everywhere now, you know, they're here in the UK, uh, they're not only in Arabic, they're also in English, yeah. and, and this radicalism, and this jihadi ideology is a threat to, to us all.